Hi, this is Matt from Triple Nine. Here's how to tie the half Windsor knot. All right, so here it is from my perspective. This knot's pretty simple. Um, I start with the narrow end at about the fourth button, so about like right here. First thing you want to do is cross the wide end over the narrow end like this. Bring it up through the loop as such. Then you want to bring the wide end over to the right behind the loop. Cross it over to the left. Bring the wide end up through the loop. And then the last thing to do is just to feed it through the loop you just created. Now that you've completed your half Windsor knot, all there's left to do is to complete your look with the tie clip. You might be wondering where can I get a tie clip? You don't need to worry about that because with the purchase of a triple nine tie, you get a free tie clip. So the general rule for wearing a tie clip is placing it between the third and fourth button. What you don't want to do is wear it high up here near like the first or second button where it's hanging off the side of the tie and you also don't want to wear it too low. So it should look something like this. Notice how it's parallel to the ground and it's not tilted or slanted. And when you have it just right, you get the complete look that you need. Make sure to check out our other videos for information on how to tie different types of knots. I hope this helps and thank you for watching.